Is this my house? Entry, please. Guys, I don't know if you've already watched it, but Borat is officially back. 14 years after the release of his OG mockumentary, Borat has returned to tackle subjects like the upcoming presidential election and global pandemic. What is more dangerous, this uh, virus or the Democrat? Democrats. 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 So it's uh, killing some of the virus. No, you can't see the virus. No, it's still there. Of course, Borat is simply a character, one of the many performed by the great Sasha Baron Cohen, an English actor, writer, and comedian. In reality, Sasha and his wife Isla Fisher live nowhere near Kazakhstan and instead maintain a gorgeous multi million dollar compound in Beverly Hills. Today, we'll take a look at that place and a few more impressive properties the couple has called home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Sasha first shot to fame as the inquisitive urban reporter Ali G. So, at what age does you think parents should give their kids their first spliff? I don't think they should do that because what? it's illegal in our society. How's the kid gonna know what's good? During the course of his career, Sasha has developed other hit characters like Bruno. Here I'm going to wear the jumpsuit made entirely out of Velcro. You go yeah. out now. Yeah. Wait a second. Tell me out of it. And impressed critics with his more dramatic turns in the television series The Spy and even recently in Aaron Sorkin's new film The Trial of the Chicago Seven. I'm concerned you have to think about it. Give me a moment, would you, friend? I've never been on trial for my thoughts before. Over the years, Sasha has earned himself dozens of awards, including winning the Golden Globe for Best Actor, and the success has led him to amassing a net worth close to the $160 million mark. As blessed as a career Sasha has had, his personal life might be even more so. Why? Well, because he married the total knockout Isla Fisher, of course. And I could feel my mom's eyes turn to me at one point, sort of boring into me, like, really, you marry, you really, you this is it. That's... <laughs> Now, not only is Isla apparently the most understanding woman on the planet, she's also an Australian actress probably best known for her work in films like Confessions of a Shopaholic and Wedding Crashers. Oh my god, don't ever leave me. Ever. Good. Because I'd find you. <laughs> yeah. But she's successful enough in her own right that she's contributed around 25 to 30 million dollars of that combined 160 million dollar net worth total. The couple met back in 2002 at a party in Sydney, Australia. They felt an instant spark and they've been together ever since, owning multiple homes over the years, including a Hollywood Hills starter home, which they eventually moved on from after upgrading to a massive estate in Beverly Hills that they purchased in 2010 for 14 million dollars. How's it going guys and girls? It's Kara here for you with a brand new house tour. This one focusing on the homes of Borat himself, Sasha Baron Cohen, and his beautiful wife Isla Fisher. This is where I live. Now I show you outside from my houses. Tisha. No, not that place. Believe me, their homes are way nicer. I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. We've also done house tours on the likes of Danny DeVito and Gene Simmons, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. After getting engaged in 2004, Sasha and Isla bought this first home for themselves in December of 2005 for $2.45 million. This single story mid century home measures 2,806 square feet and includes three bedrooms and 2.5 bathrooms. Out front, the property is located in a quiet cul de sac perched above the 52 acre Woodrow Wilson Preserve and fortified from the street with an electronic gate that slides open to reveal a small motor court with two car garage and front access to the home. Once inside, the entry leads to the primary space, which is a gigantic living and family room combo with hardwood floors, a beamed wood ceiling, large windows, and French doors that open out to the backyard. There's also a massive, and I do mean massive, rock fire place with a raised earth. This living space is divided into two pretty distinct areas. The more formal area in front of the fireplace contains a large sofa and two love seats. 
while the second, a less formal area, has a grey sectional sofa and a shell chandelier. The dining room acts as an extension off the living room and features high ceilings, lots of windows and even more French doors, with views of the surrounding mountains and nearby canyon. The large dining room table can seat up to 10 chairs and over top of it hangs a trio of saucer shaped pendant lights. The adjacent kitchen is grey and white galley style that opens on one end to the dining room and features a breakfast area at the other end with a round dining table surrounded by four white tulip chairs. The winter white cabinetry is eye-catching and the room is topped off with appliances of the stainless steel variety. Checking out the master room bedroom, it's surprisingly kind of tiny but it also has a very high beam ceiling, a wall of windows with a low built-in cabinet beneath and white wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Nearby is the Cohen's modest walk-in closet that's much taller than it is wide, but features a tricked out organizer system that scales the storage space dramatically. The home's clean line design carries on into the ensuite bathroom where there's a grey tile floor and an extra long vanity with matching his and her sinks, divided by a large window frosted for privacy. The media room can easily double as an office and features its own entry and exit into the backyard. Speaking of the backyard, in addition to the lagoon style swimming pool and spa, the property also includes a covered terrace with an expensive looking picnic table lit by a satellite chandelier. Around the corner there are several other decks situated around the home, with contemporary furniture and a hammock where Sasha and Isla probably spent time working on their tan line. To cap things off, there's an outdoor gym with a whole bunch of equipment, free weights and a large mirror. Records show that Sasha and Isla began renting this home out for around 11 k a month a few years before ending up selling it. They sold the home to a Seattle based church group in 2016 for 2.5 million. Since Sasha is originally from West London, England, it should come as no surprise to find out that both he and his wife own a home located in the posh neighborhood of Regent's Park in central London on Chester Terrace. Sasha and Isla bought the home for £13 million and the property boasts 6 bedrooms, 7 bathrooms and its own personal elevator. In 2018, the couple put this home on the market, listing it for almost £16 million. It's unclear if they ever managed to offload the property and unfortunately there are no pictures of the home anywhere online. According to friends, the reason why Sasha and Isla sold their Hollywood Hills home in the first place is because they grew tired of seeing tourists parked outside of it all the time. At the peak of Sasha's popularity, fans were reportedly lining up along the street, hoping to catch a glimpse of the comedian. So Sasha and Isla decided it was time to trade up, especially considering the family was growing. Their first daughter Olive was born in 2008 and their second daughter Alula was born in 2011. The year before the birth of their second daughter, they bought a home in Beverly Hills for 14 million dollars. Much like with their home in London and probably having something to do with the issues they had with privacy during their stay in Hollywood Hills, very little information is out there about this place. Reports suggest that Sasha fell in love with the area because it's heavily wooded and bohemian, with a real artsy feel. It's located in an area that became famous in the 60s for being a hub of creativity, with the Beatles and the Stones all having had homes in this area at one point. The home is reportedly an English country style manor with 7 bedrooms, 7 bathrooms, a guest house, a detached movie theater, and a large swimming pool. It also boasts a spa along with a fully equipped gym. A rare glimpse of what this place looks like on the inside was given to us with this tiny morsel that Isla Fisher posted herself a couple years ago, showing off her ability to set a beautiful looking dining room table. Alright guys, I think we'll bring this video to an end here. What did you think about the homes of Sasha Baron Cohen and Isla Fisher? Which would you prefer to spend some time in? It's kind of hard to know for sure without a clear idea of what their homes in London in Beverly Hills look like, but any home that features its own detached movie theater, I'm there. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!